Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Um, thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe. First, I'm going to start this video off with a prayer with all heads bowed. Father God, we just want to come saying thank you for this moment. Thank you, Father God, for giving us the opportunity, Father God, for your word, Father God, and that everything that is talked about, Father God, that it glorifies your name, Father God. We thank you, Father God, for what you're doing, Father God, for individuals. We ask that you continue to bless them, Father God. Bless this channel, Father God, that it may glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank God. Good afternoon, you guys. Um, today, I would like to talk about trusting in God. Trusting in God with your own heart. You know, I realize that a lot of people have, you know, problems with trusting in God when certain things occur. Like when you're having a bad day or if something is bothering you and you're waiting for results, I feel as if that if you just trust God, put all trust in God. And see here in my book um, about faith, it says um, in Hebrews chapter 11, it says, Now faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commanded for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. So with that being said, uh, just have faith, have faith, believe it in your heart, you know, just take God day by day and just pray about the situation. Let God use you, you know, let the Holy Spirit use you and see here in my text that I wrote down, it says faith is more positive thinking, positive thinking will not produce faith. Faith is, ju is just trust God. And the only way to develop faith is to learn to learn to know God. Since he is trustworthy, as we learn to know him, we spontaneously learn to trust him. Faith is trusting God when things do not turn out the way we expect it. You know, without faith, you cannot please God. So, when you're having a hard time trusting or trying to, you know, believe something is getting ready to happen or if you don't know it's going to happen, just put all your trust into God. He will work everything out. You know, I think back to when I used to um I used to be scared of certain certain things and my my faith it was more of on the down level because I, I wasn't trusting that God was going to work it out. I would always think about it. I always worry about it. It says when you, when you pray, don't worry. You know, you have to put everything in God's hands. And see, when you start to worry about certain situations or what if this happened or what if that happened, you're not trusting God. You know, you have to believe that God is going to bring you out of anything that you may go through, even if it's a bad situation. You know, sometimes as Christians, as believers, we have to trust that God is going to work out every situation in our life. No matter how big, no matter how small it is, God is going to work it out. And that's something that I'm learning today um, as I um, pray and as I read um, that we ought to continue to trust God no matter what it is. No matter what we are going through in life, we have to trust God because he will see us through it. You know, God loves us so much that he wants us to trust him. You know, in, in, in this day and time, when you see a lot of stuff going on and you got so many people telling you this, telling you that, and you don't know if that's right or if you don't know if this is right, all you have to do is trust God. Trust God and believe me, he will work it out. And see here in my other text, it says, you can't work on your righteousness, nor can you work on your faith. Both are gifts. Both are, are fruits. Both come as a result of knowing Jesus. And knowing Jesus come as a result of spending time in communion and fellowship and in relationship with him. 
if you will come to him, he will give you the genuine faith that you need. So all you have to do is go to God. Go to God and he will op open up your heart to him and he will give you the faith that you need. You know, I just thank God um, for my faith, you know, because my faith wasn't as strong as it is now. You know, like I said before, everybody struggles with faith. Even as Christians, we all struggle. You know, we all come to a point in our lives where we're worried about a situation. We don't know if it's going to turn out the way we expect it to turn out. But all we have to do is pray about it and give it to God. You know, it's a lot of things in my life that um, sometimes I just let go. You know, the, the, old, the old saying that says, let go and let God. You know, when you let go and let God have his way, it's in his hands. Like I said, no matter what the outcome may be, God will see you through it. And even though, you know, sometimes we worry about certain things and we're wondering if we're going to get in trouble or if this is going to turn out, regardless of the outcome, it's in God's hands. And see, God, he won't allow anything to happen that he doesn't want to happen. And I believe that every day that we live, it's already planned. God already knows what's going to happen. You know, whether we do right or whether we do wrong, but we have to believe in him because he gave us a free will. He gave us free will to do whatever we want to. You know, he gave us a free will to serve him or serve Satan. You have the free will to do what you want to do. But see, God wants you to have faith in him. And see, when you put all your trust and all your love and all your problems in God's hands, you don't have anything to worry about. See, because when you become a part of the Christ family, God has all the answers. God will be able to see you through whatever you may be going through. It doesn't matter what it is. Like I said, it doesn't matter how big it is. It doesn't matter how small it is. God will see you through it. All you have to do is have faith. Like I said, have faith as small as a, what is it, mustard seed. Have faith as small as a mustard seed. You know, they said faith, you can move mountains. When you speak things, you bring it to life. Like it says in the Bible, it says life and death is in the power of the tongue. You know, so if you bring it out, you're bringing it to life. But have faith in the, in the things that you cannot see. See, if you have faith in the things you cannot see, just imagine what the things that you can see you can bring to life. You know, sometimes you just have to sit back and be patient. And let go and let God, because God has all the answers. You know, he loves us so much, you know, and he wants, God wants the best for us. He wants nothing but the best for us. And all he wants us to do is have faith. That's what it's all about, having faith, knowing that God is going to work out every situation, everything in our life. And see, that's what we, we have as, as Christians, um, and not just Christians, anybody else. We all have problems with believing that something is going to turn out the way that we want it to turn out. But see, when you put your trust in God and you serve, a, and you serve his name and you, and you know that for sure that he's going to work it out and you put all your trust in him. He will work it out. Not to not it's not for it's not for people to just, you know, sit around and say, oh, this is not going to work. Um, that that's you, you, when you're when you say things like it's not going to work, that's letting people know that you don't trust God. Yes, sometimes we we get discouraged. Sometimes we get afraid. Sometimes we don't know what's going to happen. But when we put our trust in God and we know for sure that our faith and that we serve a good God that can do anything we ask him to as long as it's if it's his will then his will will be done so all I'm saying to you today is have faith 
Have faith. Believe. Believe in your heart that Jesus can work it out. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what you've been through. All you have to do is say a prayer and have faith that God is going to work it out. I believe God is going to work out everything in your life. If you continue to pray, if you continue to seek God, seek God, the kingdom of heaven, he will answer your prayers. All you have to do was open up your heart. And not only we're going to be talking about faith, but let's let's invite um, anybody out there that's not saved. You can receive Jesus Christ as your personal Savior today, right now, at this very moment. Ask Him to come in your life. Speak it. Ask Him to forgive you for your sins. He will see you through. Come to Him with an open heart. He loves you. He wants you a part of the Christ family. All you have to do is open up your mouth and confess that he is Lord and that he died on the cross for your sins. And that on the third day, God the Father rose him from the dead and he rose up with all power in his hands. Now, if you believe that and you confessed with your mouth that you are a sinner and that you believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross and he rose on the third day. You are saved. I ask right now that whoever is watching this video, that you continue to pray, that you continue to seek God, that you ask him to come into your life, change your situation, no matter what you're going through. He knows everything. He wants you a part of the Christ family. He knows what you're going through. He knows the outcome. Believe in him. Have faith that God is going to work it out. I thank you guys for watching this video. And as we continue to do these videos, we're going to trust God. And we're going to, we, we know that he's going to bring us out whatever that we may be going through. So we're going to say a prayer and we're going to end this video with our head bows and eyes closed. Father God, we thank you, Father God, for your word. We ask, Father God, that as your word went through, Father God, that someone may come to you, Father God, asking, what must I do to be saved? We ask, Father God, that you touch them, Father God, touch their situation. Father God, touch their families, Father God. Father God, we ask that you cover them, Father God. Watch over them. Keep your angels surrounding them, Father God. We ask right now in Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Amen. I thank you guys for watching the video. You guys stay blessed. I love you. And remember, trust God and believe that he's going to work it out. Until next time.